Okay, hi guys, this is Constance with Compose the Rabbit Hole, and um, I just wanted to walk you through on the advanced calibration. I know I did the regular calibration on the Cricut Imagine last night, but um, for some reason I was still having problems with it getting lined up correctly. Um, let's see if I can show you this mitten. I did the regular calibration again, and this mitten, let me the light. If you look at the borders on each side, it's not quite even at the bottom, especially when you look at the actual cutout that it went in. Um, the cut is not even here, and it's not even around right here. So I need to actually move it down. And the regular calibration is just using the um, standard way, and it's not working for me. So I called ProgoCraft to see what I could do because it's just sometimes it will cut complete ha images off of my thing it will cut complete lines off so I really need to know what to do so I'm going to show you all how to do this okay so when you go up here you're going to go to your settings you can go to your settings from your button too and you're going to go to blade okay what you're going to do is you're going to press you're going to hold this button down up here and then press your start calibration button well it should work Okay, and it's going to bring you to the Advanced Alignment Options button, okay? You're going to turn off the Auto Calibrate Offsets, okay? And mine, see, it's got top and bottom and a left and right, okay? And mine actually needs to move, mine needs to move down, so I'm going to try moving it 1 to 18. I think my left and right are even, Maybe a little off. I think they're a little off. I think it's just the up and down. But we're going to try that. Um, move it down by just... Uh, I'm going to move it two points. So 19 and negative 14 is what mine's going to be. And we're going to see if this works. Um, so I'm going to go back to my thing. And I'm going to go to next. And we're going... Oh, great. I forgot to hit load last to bring out my old paper, so we are going to try that first. It's thinking right now. Okay, so we're going to go back. Back. Okay, so load last. And then I'm going to go to next. I'm going to put the paper in. Do this one handed. Hit go, apply light pressure. Okay, and I have this on draft right now just because I don't want to waste any of my ink. I have found that this cartridge lasts a really long time. I have printed out quite a few full pages for backgrounds as well as quite a few images. Um, just playing around with it and I have not had to replace my inks. Um, most printers that you get only come with starter inks, but according to HP and Purple Craft, this one came with full ink cartridges. So, um they won't run out on you just as fast as your starter cartridges normally would. Because starter cartridges only normally come with a quarter thing of ink, which is why when you buy a new printer, they run out so quick. Um, but Provocraft said that this comes with full cartridges. So let's go ahead and cut this out image. Let's cut this image out and we'll see what my lines look like. And this is, I did a calibration on the other side of the page. That's where those cuts and this came from. Um, but I'm just reusing paper as it doesn't really make a difference to me as long as it works. I think I've got to bring it up one. I think it should have been 18 and negative 14, but we're going to find out. Okay, actually, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect for me. So, um, I'm going to show you. Um, this is absolutely perfect for me. This is what the original looked like. See the edges around the bottom of it, how the that border goes too far down there? This is what the calibrated version of it looks like. It's completely even on both sides. So, I think that's actually going to really work for me. Okay, guys, um, that's just how you do an advanced calibration on the Imagine. Thanks for watching. Bye.